In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this 3D model of graphene. Press X to delete the default cube. Add mesh cylinder. In the tool shelf, set the vertices to 4 and the cap fill type to triangle fan. Change the view from perspective to orthographic. Change the view to the front view. Press S to scale, hold down shift and press Z. Now we are scaling in the X and Y directions but not Z. Press point one and enter. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Go into edit mode. With all vertices selected, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, minus 1 and enter. Go into object mode, duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Press R to rotate, 120 and enter. Duplicate again, hold down shift, press D and enter. Press R to rotate, 120 and enter. With the last cylinder selected, hold down shift and select the other two cylinders and click join. Go into edit mode and in the tool shelf remove doubles and back into object mode. We now have the basic building block for making a grid of hexagons. Click the object properties button and name the shape sticks. It will form the sticks that join the carbon atoms together. We have some scale that needs to be applied in the object menu, apply scale. The first method I'm going to use for making a grid of hexagons involves adding two array modifiers. Click the modifiers button, click the add modifier button, click array. Because of the thickness of the sticks, the relative offset of 1 is too big, so untick relative offset, tick constant offset, and set the x value to 3.4641 and enter. Tick merge. To add the second array modifier, click add modifier array, and click the white triangle to close up the first modifier. Untick relative offset. Tick constant offset and set the Z offset to 3. We can see that the shape is 3 blender units tall, but to make the hexagon shape we need an X offset as well. Set the X offset to 1.73205. The offsets come from Pythagoras' theorem. I'll put the details in the description below. Zooming back with the mouse wheel and increasing the count in both modifiers, we get a grid of hexagons, but the obvious problem is that the grid is skewed at an angle of 60 degrees. We can make a rectangular grid if we use three array modifiers. But first I'm going to delete the first modifier and set the count back to two in the second and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click the white triangle to close up the modifier. Click the add modifier button, add an array modifier, untick relative offset, Tick constant offset and set the X value to 3.4641 and enter. Tick merge, click the white triangle to close up the modifier. Add modifier array. Untick relative offset, tick constant offset and set the Z value to 6 and tick merge. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and increase the count. Now with an offset in one dimension only, in both modifiers we get a rectangular grid. 
zoom in with the mouse wheel, add mesh UV sphere, set segments to 6, rings to 6, and size to 0.5, scroll up and set shading to smooth, duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter, click the object properties button, set the Z location of the duplicate to 1. To place the duplicate at this junction, set the X location to 1.73205. With the duplicate selected, hold down shift and select the original sphere and click join. Clicking the modifiers button and selecting the sticks, it would be nice to be able to copy the three array modifiers to the spheres, and we can. Select the spheres first, hold down shift and select the sticks in the object menu, make links, modifiers. Select the spheres and they have the three modifiers. Click the material button, click the new material button, call the new material carbon, click the diffuse color and set the red to 0 0.02, the green to 0 0.02 and the blue to 0 0.02. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift a middle mouse button. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.